I used to struggle a lot trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I used to listen to all these online coaches, look at all these YouTube channels, look at people on Instagram talking about how I could get a thousand subscribers on YouTube. They were talking fast. They didn't make no sense. Like they were talking and everybody was saying the same thing. So I was like, I'm doing these things that y'all are saying, but it's not working for me. So obviously that's not going to be the way that I conquer a thousand subscribers. So I had to basically sit back and and think about it myself and figure out how am I going to get to a thousand subscribers because the people that I was looking at on YouTube talking about how to get to a thousand subscribers they did not look like me so obviously my role is going to be a little bit different so I had to figure out how I was going to get to a thousand subscribers so I'm going to break it down in this video how I got to a thousand subscribers so hopefully you can take one or two of these tips from this video and blow up to a thousand subscribers so the first thing that helped me get to a thousand subscribers in 90 days i had to find a location that i was going to make a video at every day i was like i'm not about to do a video somewhere and video that way a video some like i was not about to do a video all over the place that just not was me so i had to figure out like a destination spot so I came in my garage because I got three kids. I couldn't do the videos in the house because, you know, I'm not about to tell them to stop playing and stuff like that and do what they do because I'm making videos. So I came into my garage and made my garage my space for me to make videos. So I got me a desk, as you see right here, and my camera is right there, and I have some good audio, and I started making videos in this spot. So... I made all my videos in this one location. It was so easy for me to make the videos. Cause so yeah, all I had to do is press record on the camera, come sit in this chair, figured out my content, write, wrote my content out, and then just post it. And I made sure that my content, because because the way I got to a 1,000 subscribers on YouTube in 90 days, I posted 90 days worth of shorts so it was no long form videos i just was posting youtube shorts for 90 days straight and that's how i got a thousand subscribers on youtube in 90 days i just posted a short every day for 90 days in this same location which made it real easy for me to stick to the schedule that i planned for myself because i had to put in my head that okay i'm gonna do this for 90 days and see what happens. So I know for sure that anything in life that you do for a long period of time, something is bound to happen. So I had to lock in, like my daughter said, I had to lock in. And once I locked in, I was able to make YouTube shorts for 90 days. And the outcome was I got my thousand subscribers. The next thing that helped me to get a thousand subscribers in 90 days, I had to post every day and a lot of influencers a lot of coaches all these people love to say this word that i'm sick of is consistency be quiet just i don't want to even i don't i didn't i didn't want to hear that word anymore consistency 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 just hearing the word just makes me tired and don't want to do it <laughs> So the way I came to the approach of making my videos, I just said, I'm going to do this every day. And once you come into it thinking about, OK, I'm going to do this every day and saying, like my daughter said, once again, lock in, like lock in. Once you lock in, you're going to do it every day because that's your goal for yourself. And you locked in versus saying consistency like that ain't even consistency is not even not even in my vocabulary. <laughs> So, but lock in. I like slang words. So, like, I use slang to motivate me. I can't use the regular term for words to motivate me to do something. So, once I start using the word lock in, like, yo, I'm locked in. So, I'm going to do these reels for 90 days and make sure that I get a thousand subscribers because I'm locked in. Like, words like that motivate me, not consistency and all these words I don't. It's not in my vocabulary. So, if the words are not in my vocabulary, why am I trying to use them to motivate me to do something? that I have never done before. But I know if I use slang words that I always use to get me the goals and the things that get me accomplished to do what I do, then, you know, I'm going to lock in. Okay, one of the next things that got me to a thousand subscribers in 90 days was talk about something that I knew about. Like, I am a wedding photographer, so I was giving helpful tips to brides throughout what they should expect during a wedding day. I shoot weddings all the time. So I know what happens on a wedding day from start to finish. I know when brides, maybe if they knew this tip before their wedding day, like I made those tips on the videos. So 
once I was making the videos, it was easy for me to talk about the content. So like I just started talking about the content and I used ChatGPT to help me with ideas to get me more information about my content ideas as far as what I want to talk about. So yeah, I used ChatGPT. It helped me out a lot to start creating the content that I could create for 90 days so I could get to a thousand subscribers. So once I had a plan and majority of the content that I came up with was what was going on on a wedding day. That's some information that a bride to be but not know because they never been married before. So the days that I didn't have ideas and I didn't feel like doing it, but I had to do it. I was locked in, first of all. So once I got locked in, like I had to go to chat GPT and, and figure out what I was going to do next as far as the days that I didn't have content ideas. So yeah, going into chat GPT and telling it to give you some video topics that you could answer for your audience for your YouTube shorts that could help you out a whole lot. You can ask them to give you 20 questions, 30 questions, whatever you want. Chat GPT is there to serve you. Once you start getting those ideas from chat GPT, you're going to start getting more ideas on top of the ideas that you have. So another way that I got to a thousand subscribers in 90 days, you have to look at what's working. Some people like to use the word analytics. I don't use that word. <laughs> go back and look at what was working. So if I would go back into my YouTube shorts and look at, say for instance, I post seven YouTube shorts seven days ago, I would go back and see which YouTube short did the best. So whatever YouTube short that did the best, I would go into to chat GPT and whatever title of that YouTube short was. So yeah, I would go back into the chat and ask it, give me 20 topics similar to the ones that went viral because those are the topics that my audience likes. So I'm going to create more videos like that. It's going to become easy because at that point you understand what your audience likes. So why not start creating more content around what your audience like? It's like you feeding YouTube. So YouTube is going to look and say, wow, this is resonating with that audience. So if that is resonating with that audience, that is giving them more viewers and people are staying longer on their platform. And that what YouTube goal is, they want people to stay longer on their platform. And if you're doing that in your content, your content is winning with the audience. So YouTube is going to help you as long as you help them because it's a partnership. You're trying to get to YouTube partnerships. So you have to help them get people to stay on their platform. So keep creating the right content and go back and look at, see what's working. You know what I'm saying? Just go back and see what's working, analytics. But yeah, go back and see what's working. That way you can keep doing that over and over and creating content around that. And you could grow grow, grow, and get to a thousand subscribers. You might get to a thousand subscribers in 30 days, in 60 days, just by not doing the things that I did and going forward and doing these things because you better understand it because hopefully me and you learn the same type of slang or motivation and how to really understand what to do as far as growing on this YouTube short goals. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, make sure you locking, keep doing it over and over, making sure you going back and looking at see what's working and keep doing it over and over. And something is bound to happen because the more that you do something for a long period of time, you're going to learn to master it. And once you learn to master it, you're going to be on YouTube making shorts getting a thousand subscribers like every day or every other hour so yeah lock in take these tips and grow chew